Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001 and ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple who love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life-changing challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse we packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert, curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, I trust your judgement, if you think I'll like it, put in an offer. The offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of June 2021. Join us and our dogs Merlo and Flora as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. The first thing that we wanted to say this week was happy Father's Day to my father Mike. And happy Father's Day to my father Mike. Happy Father's Day! <laughs> Well, it's um, 9.30 on a Monday morning and uncharacteristically, Claire is in the car with me. And now it means we can go to somewhere together that she really likes to visit. To Chattery! Yay! Mmm, to Chattery. Well, that was a short but sweet visit to the Duchettery. Quite quiet, actually, which was um, pleasant for a Monday morning. Um, so, item two on the agenda is we're visiting the Mayor. The Mary, not the Mayor himself, to s the ladies in the office to uh, get some recycling bags. Oh, what an exciting life we're living. Uh, what else are we doing? We're looking at the house history. Trying to find out if we can about the house history, and also um, we're trying to fit, find out where we can dump the uh, soil from when the swimming pool will be dug out. And there's a fourth thing. Um, I have a list. Liberté, égalité, fraternité. <laughs> Flora. What's this? What's this? What is it? What is it, Flora? Flora? Were you, were you eating that? Flora? Flora Florence, what is that? Why are you eating a block, Flora? Why are you eating a block of butter? Flora, is the block of butter now stuck to the floor? It's now time to paint the panels in the cloakroom. And there's a few, and they're quite, quite well done by my other half. I'll give him credit for once. Painting time. A few months ago now I started to paint the metalwork on the balcony. It took quite a, quite a while to paint the, the eight that I've done already. Um, so I've taken the opportunity today, given that it's blisteringly hot, um, to, to work outside and the fact that my other tools are broken, bringing interior work to a, a halt five railings to do at the end here so I'm gonna um, crack on with them and see how far I get. This um, rust converter and primer. Now the paint that we've got says it doesn't need a primer, but 
Um, I'm, I'm just going to put this on because I think it will give it uh, a better start and uh, give it a bit more longevity. Um, so it says on here, shake well before application. So here's something that our friend Tim will appreciate. get on with it now. Wind was blowing right in my face for that. Right, well that's all primed. I'm going to leave that possibly till tomorrow. I'm in here and I'm painting the panels and I brought a cushion through from the kitchen, uh, one of the dog beds to sit on while I dragged my bottom round the room painting the skirting boards. But I've had a visitor who's come to help me and he's promptly gone to sleep. Fair enough, it's on his bed. We are in the smallest room in the house and you've fallen asleep. You're a good doggy. We're having a lovely morning out today and our first stop is of course a bricolage shop. Why are we here? Because it's man shopping and it's urgent. What's it urgent for? Um, <laughs> I'll come back to you on that. <laughs> I've decided to branch out on things that you can do in Brico shops apart from put the toilet seat lids down. <laughs> you can creatively rearrange the teddy bears to do naughty things. <laughs> and here we have the male in his natural habitat. Man shopping for the second day in a row in another Brico shop. The look of confusion on its face suggests it's pondering. What it's pondering, we will never know. About our little uh, brick house stop off, we're now on the way to pick up a piece of furniture that I found on an online marketplace, but it's about an hour away from our house. But the drive there is actually very pretty, isn't it? We've, uh, we've gone through Cognac and we're coming out, I think, the other side and it's just full of grapevines. It's so lovely. What do you think you're doing? Waiting for you to feed me grapes. Well, I was just about to show everyone the new piece of furniture that we went to pick up. But no, now I have to stop and feed you grapes. I'm just testing it out. <laughs> and what do you think? Very nice. Yeah? Yeah, very decadent. So this is the piece of furniture that we went to... Where did we go? Bah. They really got something like that. This is what we went and picked up for one of the bedrooms. I think it's lovely. And obviously Merlot does too. Don't you? Do you think it's nice? Well you're not having it for a bed. Day two of painting the downstairs cloakroom and it's lovely and sunny outside and I'm going into the smallest room of the house with no windows. Yay! At the Brico shop yesterday, I got some glass cut to measure um, to replace the two broken panes that I have in the windows here. So today I'm going to remove the broken panes, clean up the old surround on the frame, get rid of all the old nails, old putty and all of that, and then um, <coughs> fit the new glass and uh, get that puttied in, 
So it shouldn't take me too long. It's um, half nine in the morning and it's already uh, 27, 28 degrees, so it's gonna be a warm day today. Both the windows in now, the glass is uh, setting with the putty around it. Don't know how long it will take, I'll leave it a week or two before I even attempt to do anything with it. It might be quicker given how warm it is, but uh, I want to make sure it's all set. Um, when I say it's warm, does anything give it away? Nick took down the big long louvred shutters from the balcony window and Last night I hosed them all down. Uh, can't use a pressure washer at the moment in the Charant Maritime because there's a ban on using pressure washers to wash the outside of your house and things with. So I very delicately and gently hose them down after six o'clock when you're allowed to use a hose. I now have them in my shutter workshop area. Um, they're actually in quite good condition. The paintwork's not too bad. That's why I just decided to hose them down rather than sanding them. Um, I have done one, or I've started on one. I started painting this one a few hours ago. Um, it's still a little tacky. The paint's very oily for them, I will say that. And now I'm just about to give this one a quick coat. They are a little bit more complicated with them having the louvred sections on them and trying to make sure that the paint doesn't drip and then make it look crappy on the underside. Thirty-nine euro circular saw replacing the one which died on me. Um, so what I'm doing is going to recut along the grooves, finishing at the wall to try and take up these two floorboards, and then I should be able to get some electricity cables run through the floor. So that is the plan. Let's hope I don't hit too many nails on the way. I think I counted three nails down each groove that I've hit. Um, well, I've cut the tongue and groove aspect of the wood now, so the next thing I'm going to do is drill some screws into the floorboards to give me something to pull up on. And let's hope that I can get them out and get these nails out without too much destruction of the floorboards. <coughs> This isn't coming up easily. But it's got to. We'll 
fast forward till after I've done it. Actually, that wasn't as much of a fight as I thought it was um, going to be, but um, yeah, the two planks are now out, as you can see. So I'm going to get the um, nails out that are in the floor and then drill uh, some holes through all the joists to get some cabling run so we can have some power sockets in this room. This morning, I'm a woman on a mission. I'm cleaning out one of the old pularies or one of the old chicken houses so that we can get some hens. Um, I'm having to do it quite laboriously because I can't use a pressure washer, so I'm doing it with a hose pipe and a brush, just nice and steady. So I've started by doing the floor. I've just discovered that there's a working light in here, apart from the flashlight I'm using. But, come away from there, I've just found this piece of wood on the floor and I've just moved it and there's a hole, but as you can see, it's covered by a giant spider's web. And I've got to say, this is the most unglamorous job ever cause the ceiling, there's just spiders everywhere. So I'm wearing my, uh, I'm wearing my little uh, thing on my head, not only for protection against spiders, but for just general protection. <laughs> it's, uh, it's also quite strange cause it's like there's two, um, there's two holes in the ceiling, which look like they would have been for for something like a, a fire, like a chimney flue. Hey ho. I'm gonna stick the hose down here and see where it leads to. God, it's petrifying at times. <laughs> it's like, what are you gonna find? <laughs> I just cleaned off the whole entrance. Uh. It's like, um, I don't know, got no bloody clue. There's some pipes in there. That could be one to investigate with Nick's drain rod camera. Oh, there's a hole, there's a hole. I'm now at the stage where I've cleaned cleaned out the inside and I've swept everything. Still some cobwebs left on the ceiling, but I'm not too worried about that. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go around and I'm gonna quickly give the walls a once over with some white paint. Make it a little more homely for them when they arrive. Well, I finished doing the white paint. I think there's more white paint on me. But it's so hot, I'm just sweating. Um, it's an improvement. You know, it's, a, it's an old chicken house. It's, 
it's not meant to look pristine clean but yeah I thought just give it a once over with some white paint and it does look a bit brighter there we go I've been out here this morning and I've given the louvre shutters from the balcony a second coat but the paint's not really drying and I'm not sure whether it's just because of the heat um in the meantime I've pulled this out of the chicken shed uh I've given it a bit of a hose down and I've got rid of most of the prehistoric chicken poop off of it not all of it but I thought I'd just give it a once over in some uh, in some paint just to try and make it last a bit longer somebody's obviously made it years ago it's still quite solid and this time I'm going with a royal blue colour got two hot doggies under the van they can go inside where it's cooler they just choose to come out here and go into the van. Sleepy Flora. I've just given this a quick once over with some blue wood paint just to kind of jazz it up a bit. Um, yeah, I'll just leave that to dry for a while now. Those doors are still taking forever to dry. And before I start my next job, I'm going to go for a shower. I am just paint and sweat. It's horrible. Just for today, where it's really hot, I've been allowed to leave my cupboard, haven't I? Yes, I've let you out of your cupboard. <laughs> my decorating cupboard or my cloakroom. I don't know whether I'll behave or not. So today we have come to our, well, my favourite beach. I don't know whether it's your favourite beach. This is in the top five. Yeah. So we are at... St Pelé's Umea. And we've just set up our things on the beach. I've been in the sea up to there. I, I will be after after lunch is settled. The water temperature is a bit cold. It's still only mid-June. But uh, Claire tells me by this afternoon it will be much better. <laughs> it will be after you've had a mojito. <laughs> what a lovely container ship. We'll look that up on Shipfinder while we have lunch. And for lunch today, we are off to our favourite, Shea Bob. Just been for a lovely bob about and seen a little swim, haven't we? It was absolutely lovely. And now I've just come up the beach and just having a refreshing beverage. I'm having a carling and you're having a... A strong bow. Cider. Lovely. Here's a nice day. I've had a lovely day. Yeah. <laughs> Scorchio. Scorchio. Ooh, yay. Today we have my parents coming for a wonderful slap up lunch. Uh, my dad's going to do some work with Nick and I think me and my lovely mother are just going to try and keep cool with the dogs. Um, because it's due to hit 42 degrees today. Sweating. Ugh. I know if you're watching this somewhere like Australia or wherever, you probably, you're probably going, oh, it's not hot for us. It's hot. I'm have... in the roof space of the laundry and the little job that we're doing today before we continue with um, construction in here, um, we've got this wire mesh and we're going all the way around the perimeter of the building and going to attach this wire mesh because um, there are gaps all around the roof line here and I think that this will be the best way to stop wildlife of any description, birds or polecats or things, squirrels from coming up into the roof space which will be um, severely insulated by that point um, we don't want them coming up here and building nests um, in the roof so if we put this wire up um, that should stop them and I am ably assisted by the father-in-law hello father-in-law hello nice to be here Well, we just had a lovely lunch and come back out to carry on. We've actually done most 
We've done, well, we've done all down that side and most of that side. Only got probably another couple of metres down there to do and then across at the end and then that job of um, protecting from birds and things is done. Snakes. Yeah, you shush. You get snakes in birds. Don't, do, don't tell Claire that. You do. Don't you tell do. Claire that. <laughs> I wish you'd get some bigger staple. <clears throat> Not the size of them, it's what you do with them that's important. Is it? I always thought it was a size. It is, isn't it? Yeah. 40 degrees outside and here we are working in a roof space. If anybody in, this, in America would like to send me a bottle of Jack Daniels to try, I would be very happy. You could <laughs> bloody buy it over here, you cheapskate. I know. <laughs> <laughs> nice try! What a bloody, what a bloody carry on! Your, it was your in. idea. It's Let's right. make this Give into accommodation. Those. Give us all things and I'll snip it back and press it in. All right, Where I've got it? to put this down. The next job that Father and I are working on is building the cupboard around the water tank here in the laundry. Um, which will have a door on that side and a wall across the side here. <laughs> and we're using the biggest set square known to mankind. And we weren't far off by eye, were we? No. You happy with that? That's, that's the vision of happiness there. Look at that. There you go, spot on. Spot on. Yeah, that's spot on. Worth a bottle of Jack Daniels. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> the temperature outside today has touched 42 degrees C, and inside we're just having a nice afternoon snooze in the cool, aren't we? No one's there to agree with me, but never mind. There we go, we've finished for the day, I hope, haven't we? Yep. Um, just to show you what we've been doing. Well, we've got the door side to the cupboard finished and the wall side with a space for where the electric consumer unit's gonna be fitted. So that's a job well done. So uh, thank you, father-in-law, for your help. Now, do you have a message for any American viewers? Uh, uh... If any Jack, you find any Jack Daniels laid on the street or on the road, I'm, I'm always happy for, to take it off your hands. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Make that as you will. Honey, can you hurry up in there? Yeah, but I want to do this room reveal. Let's come on in then. Welcome to the smallest room in the Maison de Maitre. With this being the smallest room in the Maison de Maitre, it's actually quite hard to take videos of it. So I'm just gonna kind of go steady and show you around. 
but it took two days in the end to wallpaper in here um, with the ceilings being so high and the room being so small it was quite a challenge kind of going vertically up a ladder um, but yeah I think it looks quite good on the walls have come from this magazine called Le Illustration and I managed to get a glut of copies from 1933 to 1935 and then my mother-in-law and my mother both spent ages unpicking all of the staples from the magazines and me and Nick went through them one night and we uh, cut them down and we picked out the best ones. So this is the best of the bunch. And I'll take a couple of still images of some of the, some of the best ones I can get for you from around the room so you can see them up close. On the ceiling we've got the copper ceiling rose and the copper coloured chandelier. It was originally brown. And then we got this mirror, giant, giant mirror. So it kind of brings a lot of light into here with obviously the electric chandelier on. Uh, it came from Maison's de Monde and I'm quite happy to say that this is the first mirror that we've got from them that doesn't seem to be bowed. But it's good because it also reflects the newspaper on the opposite wall. Uh, the panels on the walls have all been painted in matte black and copper. Because I just thought, you know what, that's a little bit different. And we've got some great little kind of goldy copper coloured accessories around the room. got the, uh, the copper sink that we found at a charity shop with a lovely working black tap and the copper tiles another one of the collection of accessories and of course when you're on the toilet you need somewhere to put your phone and I think for such a tiny tiny little room it's worked out quite well let us know what you think in the comments section below and if you like viewing our room reveals do give us a like there we go another room down only uh, just a few to go <laughs> hi. hi and welcome to wine of the week <laughs> this week we've got a spanish wine that we picked up on our recent holiday down to spain made by the Torres firm. Thank you, Merlo. <laughs> it's about uh, six or seven euros a bottle. And it's delicious. Lovely for a warm summer's day. Yes. So it's been quite hot here. Uh, yesterday, I think it was up to about 42 degrees. It was, but it cooled down overnight and we had a rather big thunderstorm, which was quite nice. We would have filmed it for you, but it was a in the middle of the night so <laughs> nothing you, was happening you didn't appreciate being woken up <laughs> no the storm didn't wake me up <laughs> oh, <there's thunder> and lightning. <laughs> anyhow because of the heat um we've been choosing what projects to do quite carefully trying to keep away from the excessive heat uh, so there's a number that we started that we've not finished 
but um, you'll see them all in due course. We've had problems with, or I've had problems with paint drying on shutters this week, and where it's been that hot, the paint's just not been drying. Yeah. Or you've had problems with, we've run out of paint and haven't been able to go out yet for more paint, so. Ah. <laughs> anyway, back onto the wine. Yeah. But we, uh, we do hope that you enjoyed our, our room reveal, even though it's the smallest room in the house. But one of the most important. Yeah, yeah. So. And I'm glad it's a finished room. It's a number two finished. That sounds wrong. <laughs> For the type of room it is. <laughs> anyway, cheers. cheers and cheers to you. Not sure much more work's going to get done today. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit like. Or follow us or subscribe to us, that would be great. You can f uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Or on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com. See you next week. Cheers. Cheers.